What's up everybody? Welcome to my desk. Today we're going to go over some random tips to help you get one of these jobs that are in this thread that I just tweeted about the other day. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that I tweeted out, if you're hiring, please let everyone know in this thread. Tomorrow is Monday, a new week, and a lot of people out there looking for work. Let's see if we can help spread the word on available opportunities. So you have a chance right now. There are hundreds of jobs in this one thread alone that are super fresh and there's a lot of opportunity out there. So definitely take a look at this thread. So now what I wanna go over is a few things to help you stand out to get one of these jobs or to get a phone call with one of these jobs and to help better your interview with them. So just some random tips. Uh, there, there's a lot of great tips out there. These are just some personal ones that I personally enjoy and use and appreciate, okay? But first things first, let, we gotta get you to the interview with one of these companies, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little tip on how to stand out right here. Now look, okay, so Sergi here works at Webflow and he says Webflow is hiring a product designer and a brand designer, okay? So hit us up, email that, okay? Email jobs at webflow.com and send them your portfolio, send them your resume, send them a little brief description about yourself. But to stand out, I really want you to do this, okay? I really hope someone that's watching this video does this. You gotta capture their attention. Now think about what everyone else is doing and don't do that, do something different, okay? It's, it, it's actually kinda simple. So your immediate reaction would be to hit up jobs at webflow.com. Do it, but before and after you do, I want you to do this. Tr just try this, somebody please just try this. Record yourself for two minutes, selfie cam, on your phone, okay? Or or on your uh, cam, on your, what do you, what are you called? On your iSight, on your webcam, whatever you're called, on your computer, and uh, just record yourself. Two minutes though, because you have to share this on Twitter, and Twitter only allows two minutes. And just talk about who you are, say hi, hey Sergi, saw your post, like super excited, I really love Webflow, um, you know, I'm looking for a design position, I used to work here and here and here, I have this much experience, uh, you know, I really love to work with people, <laughs> and, walk around your office, show them your house. I don't know, do, do something personal so they get to know you and your work at the same time, within two minutes. You know, then cut in and show your work. Like, as you're talking, as you're showing your personality, then cut in and show some of your work, show some of your prototypes. You know, just rough, just super rough stuff. I mean, it's just a quick little video. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Hardly anyone sent Sergi a video. And he will watch it. Cause he's like, oh, this is cool. I, yeah, I'll just sit back and drink my coffee. I'll watch this. I don't have to read anything. I don't have to work. I'm just, I'm just gonna watch this. You're gonna stand out. That's a perfect way to stand out. And I hope at least one of you, at least one of you does this to somebody in this thread. I think that'd be super cool. So standing out is important. And don't think you're gonna stand out by, you know, getting creative with your writing. I think that, I think you will and it will help but someone still has to get that far to actually read your writing. So you really need to capture them up front. And if no one's doing video, hi, hey, me, look, I just recorded a video for you. That, people are gonna see that, they love that. People love to see people. It's just, it's just a thing, it's just a thing. All right, this one's obvious, apply. Apply, apply, apply. Apply to more than one. If you only apply to one, your response might just be uh, none. So if you apply to many, you have so many other chances to get a response. It's, it doesn't take that much time. It doesn't take that much time. Okay. Be prepared. If, if, if you're looking for a job and you're applying for jobs, be prepared. Have your stuff together, your portfolio, your resume, because more than likely people are gonna ask for a resume. Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do, but have it ready. Don't apply for a job and start asking all these questions and then, and then the person comes back to you like, oh, hey, we love your work, uh, but could we see your resume? Could, or could we have you know these referrals or anything? And then you're like, oh, well, yeah, give me the weekend and I'll put it together and you know three days go by and they probably already hired someone else. Be prepared with all that stuff. Look, you just got a response from them. You just got their attention, but you just lost it because you weren't prepared. And if you see them respond, you respond right away because you're ready. You're ready for the job. You're ready for the hunt. And you have all your stuff together. Don't keep people waiting 
the more longer they wait, the better the chance someone else came in to get that job. So just be prepared. It's very. I mean, why, why are we talking about this? This is just like a pet peeve of mine. But like, if you're if you're trying to get a job with someone and you're like replying to them on Twitter or whatever, and you're all excited, like, hey, I really love to work for you. And they go and click on your profile, and you're not following them. Like you, you talk about how you're a big fan, and like, you know, you love everything this company does, but you're not following them on Twitter or whatever. Just follow them. I mean, show that you actually do like the company. Otherwise, I mean, but you're like, oh, well, doesn't that make your the other person have like an ego? Like, oh, they're not following me. No, it just makes you even more of a stranger. I mean, I shouldn't have to say this, but have a portfolio. Dad, you don't have a portfolio. You, I'm not looking for a job, but it's too hard. Are you kidding me? It's too hard to have a portfolio? Have you ever heard of Behance, Dribble, Simplice? I mean, create a PDF, I don't know. It's very easy to make a portfolio. If you can design, you can make a portfolio. Put up a shot on Dribble. There's a portfolio, add attachments to it. In the comments, write your description. Very easy portfolio, but it's not what Dribble's for. I, I, I really, I really highly disagree. I highly, highly disagree. I've used Dribble as a portfolio for a long time. It's actually pretty great. Just send a link and it has your work. If you click on the thumbnail, which is a cover image, and then you have attachments and bam, bam, bam. It's, just, it's great, it's phenomenal. Behance, very easy. You can even get more detail. You can customize it, you can do all kinds of things. Simplice, you can have a portfolio up in a day. I mean, WordPress, Squarespace, it's very simple. You actually don't have to worry about having this custom, crazy cool portfolio. Yeah, it helps, but it's not really, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. People wanna see the work, okay? Most of these custom websites anyways that people do, they just take them even longer to get to the work, which is really what we wanna, what we wanna see. What are we talking about? Why are we, why are we even talking about this right now? I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm talking about. So you really need to know who's hiring you. Let's use this Target example. Target is hiring graphic designers and senior art directors right now. You need to know who is hiring you. So I don't think Riley is the one doing the hiring. I could be wrong. But like, for example, if, if you're applying for a job at Epic Arts and you know I'm probably the one that's gonna be hiring you. So when you reach out to me or when you get this interview with me, make sure you ask you know, the right questions up front. Don't just walk in be like, hey, what's up? And let me ask all the questions. I mean, it's fine if that's the way it goes, but show that you're actually super interested and like, Ask me, hey Dan, I hear you just moved to Nashville. What's that like? What's it like being away from San Francisco? What's it like, you know, not being in the city anymore? How are your kids doing? I, I know you have three girls. How are they doing? It's very simple to find out who will be hiring you and who's actually the decision makers on the team and just go do a quick little research on them. You know, if, you're, if you find out that, if you get a meeting request and you see three people's name in your Google invite and your email, go look at those people. Look at Twitter, look at Google, uh, look at Instagram, find out some information about them. It'll help you ask questions, personal questions. I mean, not personal, personal, but you know, like personable questions when you get in the room with them and or on the phone with them. And it just adds so much value. It looks like you care, it looks like you're interested, and it looks like you actually know the team and, and things that are going on. So you got you definitely use that one, okay? Use that one. Let's say you get a job interview with MailChimp, okay? You've landed this job interview and then you're on the phone, you're talking to him, or you, you came into, I don't know, so it says Brooklyn office. Be careful what you say, be careful what you say. When you're showing your work and you say, look at my project I did, or look at uh, my design I did, or my this, my this, I this, I this. Be careful when you use those words because you're already setting yourself up as a non-team player. People really, really like it when they're included. Talk about your teamwork because you're probably nine times out of 10 gonna go work with a team, either leading a team, working with a team, or 
it's going to be a team situation, I almost guarantee. Think about that when you're interviewing, say we and our and things like that, you know, talk about your teams and how you collaborate well together. If you keep talking about yourself, people will think you just like to go off on your own and do your own thing, which probably isn't what they want because they want a team. It's, it's not all about you when you're doing a job interview, even though, I mean, it kind of is, but you're, you're trying to become a part of a team. So talk like it. So a lot of times when you get a job interview, you get asked a trick question. And it's basically something along the lines of, so what would you do differently uh, if you were on this team to help out? Is there something that you think we could do differently? Is there something you don't like about our product? You know, uh, what would, how would you do this? How would you do that? And it's a very kind of murky situation. And I, I personally think it's best to go around that situation. Don't, don't just go straight through it, but you kind of like, you know, just kind of barely go around it. So you, you're kind of answering it, but you're not. And basically what I, what I mean is, so if Twitter comes up like, so obviously use the product, like what do you think about it? What could we do better? You know, what's something we're not thinking about? And it's like, you answer it with positivity. You don't want to bash the team because you don't know what they went through, all the arguments that they had, or maybe all the tears that they had to get some of the stuff out there, okay? Uh, one thing I won't do is like, oh, the Twitter feed is just horrible. It's just filled with ads and like, man, those, those promoted tweets drive me crazy and everything. And like, I don't know, it's just so hard to keep up with stuff. The threads are like a disaster. You don't go in talking like that. Now, and, and I could totally make it better. Like I'd fix it by doing this. I'd fix it by doing that. You just sound like a. You don't. You don't sound right. You don't sound right. So what you do is, like, uh, you know, I, I really love this about Twitter. I love this. I love this. I love this. You know, it's it's been so good to me. Whatever it is. But one thing that I think would be really cool is if you know they had this little feature, or what about this feature? Because that way you're just kind of, you're answering the question, but you're dodging the question in a way that is still like showing your ideas and your thought, pro and your thought process, but you're not being negative towards anything they've done or anything they might be working on uh, currently. And, and you might not hurt anyone that's in the room. So it's, I mean, that's a key point if you're looking to get a job there. Go around it because, and also too, like you might not know what the situation is. Like if you talk about the the Twitter feed, and you're talking about, yeah, it's just, I wish the Twitter feed was different and all that stuff. Like obviously, we wish the Twitter feed didn't have all these ads and whatever in it or wherever we're at. But it's like that's the business situation that they have right now. So by saying that, it's like you don't understand the business. Uh, might not be a good fit. Now, one of the things I see people that don't fully take advantage of is one of the first questions you might get asked in an interview. So tell us about yourself. Oh, well, I'm from, you know, I'm from Tallahoma, Tennessee. Went to design school, more college design for four years, and then graduated, then moved here, then moved here. I went to San Francisco, did this and that, and whatever. And you kind of cut it off once you get to where you are right now, but you don't really spend much time on it. And I think that's a mistake. I think this is like your biggest opportunity to just kind of like really let yourself be known who you are, what you what you like, what you're into, your favorite projects, the things you really enjoyed. I love prototyping because of this and this and this and you know, just go in deep on some of these things cuz you might not get the chance to follow back up with some of that stuff cuz you don't really know where the conversation's going. So you have to take advantage of that first question and just go off <laughs> on yourself and what you like and what you're into and what you enjoy. Uh, don't just talk about, oh, just like your past history work. Obviously that's something you wanna know, but go off on tangents, you know, like, you know, I really wanted to work on this Nixon project and I finally got it, you know, I'm a big surfer and, you know, actually, I'm a fan of design because of like Surfer Magazine and Trans World and all those things back in the day. I grew up around that. And it's really what brought me to design. Like get, go into things like that, you know, and it's definitely take advantage of that moment because that's your time to shine right there. Okay, so now this one's my favorite. If you actually get a job interview and you have to go in person, a lot of times you have multiple interviews and usually they set it up where, you know, it's a, it's a few hours, but let's say that it's two hours and it's back to back to back usually. Now, I don't consider this a bribe, 
but I like to call it just a nice gesture. Bring in some donuts, come on. Like bring in some pastries. Like not everyone wants to go in and do these interviews. You know, they're very busy people and you're very busy too. And you took the time to come over here. So let's make this little meeting, which is already stressful enough. Let's make it enjoyable over some donuts, you know, or some pastries, you know, obviously keep in mind dietary restrictions. Uh, so definitely consider that when you're picking out your pastries, but it's definitely a good thing to do. Again, it's not like a bribe um, because it's it's food, but it's just like a nice gesture. It shows that, hey, you're a pretty cool person. And I guarantee you, they will remember that. I don't know, everybody's hiring. Just go look at that thread. There's hundreds of jobs in there. And again, stand out, you know, make that video, do something to catch their attention. Don't just respond like a normal response. Like, come on, we're, we're all creatives here. We're all designers. Make something cool. Show them what you can do. I believe in you. All right, till next time, have a good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. And that's all I got. All right, I will see you next time. Peace.